Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome back to the action. This is your brother Abdul Hamanu, who will be checking for you mathematics of high school for your information. I know you have been struggling by COVID 19 and you have problems with this subject. For your information, math of high school is not that much hard, but we have people who are examinators, they make mathematics very hard. Uh, I'll be checking for you a uh, second last chapter of form 2, which is angle property of a second. Here, before we tell our questions, we, we are expected to know some uh, terms that are used with the angle property of a second. Uh, the first thing we are going to discuss about is uh, uh, we have these three, we have chord, we have arc, and as well we also have uh, uh, segment and segment of a circle, okay? We're going to discuss about this one uh, for your information, guys. You must know this thing. Basically, these are found within the circle. They are not out of the circle, by the way. Uh, if I draw, if I sketch now the circle, let's say this is uh, the circle. This is a circle for your information, yeah? Just understand that. So, a chord, as far as the definition is concerned, a chord is a straight line which touches the circumference of a circle at two points but does not divide the circle into two equal parts. Please understand that. A chord is a straight line which touches the circumference of the circle at two points, but does not divide, does not divide the circle into two equal parts. Please understand. It cannot divide the circle into two equal parts. So a chord uh, is just like, can be like this line. This can be a chord. Let's say this is L, this is B. So this is a chord. So a chord is a straight line that touches the circumference of a circle at two points, but does not divide the circle into two equal parts. Yes, I understand that. Uh, after that, we have an arc. What's an arc? An arc is any part, is any part, any part of the circumference of a circle is what you normally call an arc. You know, back in primary, you remember we used to draw an arc. So now, this is an arc now. This is an arc, this is another arc. So, an arc is any part of the circumference of the circle, for your information, guys. Then, what's a segment? What is a segment? A segment is a region bounded by a chord and an arc. It's a region of the circle bounded by a chord and an arc. So, this is a segment, for your information. Any region of the circle, any region or any part of the region of the circle, or any part of the circumference of the circle which is bounded by a chord and an arc is what you normally call a segment for your information. It's very easy. So this is a segment, this is also another, another segment for your information. So we can call this one as what? Minor segment. You can see this one? Minor segment. Okay? Just understand that. And this part you can say a uh, major segment major segment. Just understand that. Any part of the circumference of circle which is pointed by an arc and a chord is what you normally call a segment. Pair that in mind, I uh, will proceed ahead and see how questions are framed. Questions of angles are framed from a uh, circle, okay? Let's see now that. So knowing these three, we will proceed ahead and uh, see how questions are framed. Questions of angle, questions that are related to angles are framed from uh, circle, okay? Now let's see that. Let's see that. And remember, when we are dealing with the questions from angles, we are expected to know the reason as to why we are getting this angle. You must know the reason. The reason, the reason as to why you are getting that angle must be in the bracket. You have to be reason. You have to say, I've gotten this angle because of this. Tell us, because in KCAC, we mark reasons. We don't mark values, okay? Sometimes you can be you can told, you can be told, eh? give a reason, find the value of angles, angles, blah 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 blah. Then you get the value of the angles stated eh? by also giving uh, reasons for that. Okay, the first thing you're going to see is that uh, the first concept. Let's start with the uh, air. We can say angle at the center, angle at the center. Is twice angle on the circumference. Look at this one. On the circumference. Let's see that. Angle at the center is twice angle 
on the circumference. Let's see this first. Let's proof write this statement here. Yeah? Remember, when you draw the circle, let's say, what are we talking about? Yeah? What are these angles we're talking about? What's this angle at the center we're talking about? And what is this angle on the circumference we're talking about? But we're saying, remember, angle at the center, at the center, that's the center of the circle, is twice angle on the circumference. Let me show you that. Let me now draw a circle. Let me sketch here. Let's say this is our circle, yeah? So you can see like this. You can see like this. So this is up, don't forget. So this angle is at the center, okay? Let's say this angle is X. Then we can also say like this, okay? Let's say this is angle Y. So let's write here A, B, then C, okay? Remember, we have two angles here, angle Y and angle X. So we are saying angle at the center is twice angle on the circumference. Conversely, you can also say conversely, angle on the circumference is a half angle at the center. Conversely, you convert it. I just said that statement. You reverse the statement. Because you are saying angle at the center is twice angle on the circumference. Conversely, you can also say angle on the circumference is equal to a half times angle at the center. Just understand like this. So in, the, in case you see, you're going to write there, the reason as to you get that angle for information. Now, this angle is angle at the center. So this angle is twice angle Y. Because this angle is angle at the center. And this angle is angle on the circumference. Okay? So this angle is twice this angle. So in the event where you have this angle, Let's say assume you have 120 here. So this angle will be 120 divided by 2. This will be 60. And in the event where you have this angle at 60, 60 degree, for you to get this angle and center, you're going to say this times 2 will give me this one. Very easy. I don't know why people are making mathematics hard. It is very friendly, by the way. Okay? We can still go ahead and see another, uh, another two angles here. Okay? Let's, let's see these two again. Let's write this one, let's write this one, uh, W, and this one, uh, this angle, Z. Remember this angle, angle W, this angle W is twice angle Z, because this angle is angle at the center, and it's always a reflex angle, don't forget that. And it is always a reflex angle, an angle greater than 108 degree, but less than 360 degree. So if you get a value which is less than 180 degree as the value of W, may God bless you. You are beating the bush, my brother. Because here we have angles at a point. And remember this angle, angle X, is always an obtuse angle. Just understand that. It can also be an acute angle, but this angle, 98% is always what? Obtuse, uh, obtuse angle. An angle which is greater than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. That's class 5 work. So if I have this angle now, angle W is twice angle Z. Because angle W is at the center. Yes, and so that. Okay? Then angle Z, which is opposed to angle W, and which is also found on the circumference, can be gotten by saying angle Z is equal to a half times angle W, or angle W divided by, by 2. So these are the angle properties of... Uh, of uh, of form 2, okay? Angle property of a cycle of form 2. The first concept. Okay, we'll go ahead and see so many concepts called reading. Just understand that this angle is twice of this one. Okay? Because this is an angle at the center. In the event where you have this angle, you can get this one because they have that relationship. A half time is this one will give you this one. Okay? And in the event where you are given this one, what are you going to say? This times 2 will give you up this one. Okay? After getting this one then, what are you going to say? Remember, this is a point. This one, this is a point. So angles at the point adds up to 360 degree. You remember back in primary? Angles at the point adds up to 360 degree. So we are going to say angle X plus angle W is equal to 360 degree. Then from there, so far you have the value of angle X, you can get the value of angle W for your information. And the moment you get angle W, angle W, then you can get angle Z by saying a half time is this one will give you this one. 
Very easy. Very easy, friends. Okay? Now let's see example. Let's see the first example, yeah? For your information. But don't forget that angle at the center is twice angle on the circumference. Don't forget that with this. Okay? This is a rough sketch, yeah? We'll go ahead and see examples so that you don't suffer during really case easy. Okay? Let's go, guys. Your child, uh, in our first example, you are told find the values of x, y, and z in the figure below. This one they're saying. This is example one, yeah? This is our example one. You are told find the value. Find the values of x, y, and Z in the figure below. Remember you are told again if comma comma if O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the cycle. I just understand that. If O is the center of the, of the cycle, an angle, an angle, angle A, B, C is equal to that degree. Okay? Now, this is the figure. This is our figure for your information, guys. This is our figure. So they are saying this is A, B, C, okay? A, B, C. Then we have uh, this angle we are given us that degree. Don't forget angle A, B, C. So that is the angle, angle 30 degree. Uh, this is 30 degree, guys. Okay? Then uh, uh, this is what we have. Uh, here, O, which is the center, then X here, then here we have Y, okay? Then they are saying, that this is angle Z. Now, so you can get, the first angle that we can get is angle Y, because angle Y is twice angle A, B, C, okay? So we can say, angle Y is equal to, angle Y is equal to, 2 times that degree. See so, angle at the center, angle at the center is, is twice angle on the circumference. This is the reason. Angle at the center is twice angle, angle on the circumference. So angle Y therefore is equal to 60 degree. So this angle is what? Is 60 degree. Remember, angle Y and angle, angle X, angle Y and angle X are also, uh, uh, these are angles at the point, right? Eh? Angle Y and angle X. So they will add up to 360 degrees. So you can also say, also, angle X plus angle Y is equal to 360 degree. Reason? Angles at a point. We all know that, we the mathematicians, we, know, we all know that, that angles at a point sums or uh, sum up, up to 100 and I mean sorry, up to 360 degrees, just as that, they will add it up to 360 degrees. So we can say 60 degree plus y plus x, already 60 is y value, don't forget. Or you can say x plus 60 degree is equal to? 360 degree. So you can say x is equal to 360 degree minus 1, 60 degree. So x is equal to 300 degree. Just understand that. We have got x as 300 degree, just understand. Then remember we say that, we also say that, that angle x and angle y, sorry, angle x and angle z. 
have also got some relationship. In that angle X is twice angle, angle Z. Why? Because angle X is found at the center, while angle X is found on the circumference of the circle. So you can say, you can say angle Z, look here. Angle Z is equal to a half angle X. And this is the reason. Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference, okay? So you can say angle Z is equal to angle Z is equal to a half times 300 degree up. So angle Z therefore is equal to 150 degree by 2 1 by 2 is 150 degree. So this is how you are going to catch up for questions of this uh, principle which, is, which says angle at the center is twice angle of them on the circumference where information guys okay? That is how you are going to get away in KCSC or how you are going to tackle such kind of question. Okay, now let me also show you another one which is related to this one. But somehow, somehow, but somehow twisted, okay? But somehow twisted. Now let's see another example. I hope you are in this one. We have this angle which is that thing. That this, the first angle we are going to get is what? F angle Y. So angle Y will be that times 2 which is 60 confirm. Angle Y is equal to that times 2 because angle on the circumference is half angle at the center. And remember we are looking for the angle at the center. So if you are looking for the angle at the center and you have the angle on the circumference, you say angle on the circumference times 2 will give you angle at the center. Let's understand that. Now let's go ahead and see example 2 here guys. Let's go ahead and see example 2 so that you don't sum. Okay? Let's see a situation where they are going to twist the question. Okay? I hope you are digesting this thing. This is very, very easy. Very, very, very easy. Yeah? Just understand that. Who said mathematics is that? Yeah? You are told that this is example two. In the figure below, in the figure below, comma, O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the of the circle. Full stop. Then you are told find the angle A O B. Find angle A O B. Full stop. And this is the figure. Let me do it here. This is the figure. This is the figure. I, uh, I was told that mathematician don't have problem with drawing. Okay? So if you have problem with drawing, then you need to develop some kind of skills here. Yeah? Just understand that. Now, this is what we are having, guys. Okay? This is what we have. We have it for your information, guys. Okay, now we are this is the figure. We have A here, B. Then C, so here we have O, you are seeing this O, and remember you are given this one as, this angle is what, 30 degree, this is 20 degree, just answer that. Uh, when you encounter such kind of uh, question in KCAC, these guys are actually testing whether you have learned mathematic concept related to angles, basically angle property of, your, of a cycle in form 2, uh, uh, very, very well, okay? They are testing whether you have digested it well or not. Now, remember, we said in mathematics, when we are talking about circles, any line that starts from the center to the circumference is a radius. Is that what? Is a radius for your information. Any line that starts from the center or to the circumference is a radius. So you can say like this. You can also join this one to this one. You can say these three are what? Radius. So here, can you see now, we have two isosceles triangles. Look at that. Triangle AOC and triangle BOC are two isosceles triangles. Yes, and that. Are what? Two isosceles triangles for your information. Two isosceles triangles. Because we said any line that starts from the center to the circumference is radius. So these are all uh, radius for your information. Then, see, I can get this one. Remember, this is an isosceles triangle. We said that. Base angles of an isosceles triangles are equal. So if this is that, this is also that degree. 
And if this is 20 degrees also, 20 degrees for your information. Then this angle, this angle will be, this angle will be 50 degree angle of the circumference. And these guys are demanding what? They are saying find angle A O B. A O B. This is the angle they are demanding. So now we can say, but you can still say that. You can say, because you need to write the reason. You can say, lines. Look here. You can say, lines. O A O B and O C. O A, comma. O P and O C are ready of the circle. Uh, the view of it of the circle. You can say that lines O A O B and O C are ready of the circle. You can say that. Okay. Therefore, you can say triangles, triangles, or you can say triangle O A B O A B O A C, not O A B. Sorry. O A C and O B C and triangle O B C are isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangles. Okay, they are isosceles triangles. Okay, you can also say you can still say uh, angle O A C. Therefore. Can say angle O A C O A C this angle is equal to angle O C A O C A these are base angles of an isosceles triangle base angles of an isosceles triangle okay yes understand that because these two are the base angles of the exercise, right? therefore they are equal. So this will be 30 for your information, guys. This angle will be 30 for your information, guys. This angle will be 30. This is 30 degree. Also, you can also say, also, 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 angle OAB, sorry, angle, you can say, Angle O B C is equal to angle angle O B C which is given as 20 is equal to angle O C B O C B the same reason as this one base angles of an isosceles triangle therefore angle O C B angle O C B is equal to 20 degree you see now Angle OCB is also 20 degrees, just understand that. Then you can say, therefore, you can say, therefore, angle ACB is equal to 20 degree plus that degree, which is 15 degree. So angle ACB, ACB is equal to 30 plus 20, just understand that. Okay? Then you can say, angle again, angle O B is equal to two angle A C B. Reason angle at the center. Reason angle at the center is twice angle on the circumference. Okay, on the circumference. Write the reason. Yeah, because angle O A B is twice of this one. Therefore, you can say angle A O B is equal to uh, two times fifty degree, which will give us one hundred uh, degree for your equation, guys. So, and that is the final answer for this question, guys. I think this is very easy. It's only a matter of going back and revising. Just go through these examples. In our next class, God willing, we are going to discuss about. Uh, the other concepts, the other principles that will help you or guide you in solving questions related to angle, property of a cycle. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Make sure you subscribe this noble YouTube channel. It's an academic channel to help you. And you also share with your family members and friends. Otherwise, I wish you the best.